So I'm here with Julian Wilford from the Nice Car Company and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he's doing here. Julian, when did you start the company? The company was founded uh, in 2006. We launched uh, our flagship model, the Mega City, at the British International Motor Show in July 2006. Why? Uh, even then we saw there was uh, going to be a great future for electric vehicles because they're simply the cleanest uh, vehicles you can drive. Uh, road transport accounts for about 25% of our CO2 emissions in Europe. And in the UK we're each responsible for about 27 kilograms of CO2 per day. The scary thing about road transport emissions though is that the sector uh, CO2 emissions are increasing. Um, if you look at Europe as a whole since 1990, the increase in road transport has been such that it's been more than the savings made everywhere else in the European economy. Wow. So we've actually gone backwards just because we're driving more miles in more cars that are heavier. I'm now in uh, one of these electric cars by the nice car company and I'm going to take it for a bit of a spin. Let's just hope I don't uh, destroy it. Your cars, you don't fill them up, you charge them up. That's right. Okay. Just plug into any standard three pin. Any socket, standard socket. Any st standard three pin socket that you can find. Right. So they're not like the previous. Um, I was reading about kind of older versions of electric cars where you have to find a particular socket, a particular charging place. You can do it anywhere. You can do it anywhere. That's Absolutely. Right. Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. One of the things about the cars is that because they're trying to conserve energy. They're really kind of anti-brake. They don't want you to use the brake. So as soon as I stop accelerating, it slows right down because it uses the energy from the movement of the car to, well, slow it down. The important things to know are that if you look at overall environmental impact, an electric car, like for like, reduces environmental impact by about two thirds. Great. Even today, powered from the grid. So the standard mains electricity. Mm -hmm. The great thing about electricity though is that um, well, two things. One, the government is pushing that electricity is, has to be cleaner because actually the electricity generation well, itself is one of the uh, big, big pollutants in the environment. So that is going to get cleaner and that means electric cars become more and more clean. It seems to me that it's perfect for city driving because of, you know, it, I mean it, it accelerates okay. I can't imagine racing the thing, but uh, not that I like racing. Now I think your cars are really, really cute and I like the look of them, but what if I wanted, you know, to really kind of you know, pimp out my car. Can, can you get like really, really good, you know, big bass speakers in these cars? Yeah, just, just, just like a standard vehicle, you can do yeah. it. Just sort of Whatever orbit. you want. Can you we drop can them do down, graphics. low ride Dro them? Dro dropping down is a little bit tough because we have some batteries underneath there. Gotcha, but in terms, of, uh, in terms of the other things you might want to do, uh, yeah, absolutely, those are all possible. We can so provide full like like wraps and graphics yeah. packages. Uh, Fat chrome ribs. Uh, absolutely, yeah. and uh, lots of nice stickers and decals and things to go on. So yeah, that's all, that's all that you can do that, absolutely. Okay. That's quite nice really, isn't it? Once you bought one, running costs are virtually zero. There's no road tax. You have to pay your insurance, but that's only a couple hundred pounds. Um, uh, MOT, pretty, pretty simple to, to maintain. Um, so uh, running costs are 2p a mile. So actually there's, there's very limited cost of ownership once you've actually bought the vehicle. Yeah, this so is actually the... The cost of efficiency of them is fantastic and it's one of the, I think, the big selling points in the cars. And the radio stations are terrible. You know, this is not a car. This is, sounds pretentious, but it's an urban mobility solution. It's a way to get around town. Mm -hmm. There are 8 million Londoners. Uh, we make 10.5 million car journeys a day. The average car journey length is 4.2 miles. Average occupancy is 1.4 people. Average traffic speeds in London is 11 miles an hour. And yet, so often we do those journeys in huge, big, polluting vehicles. It's a little bit like driving a go-kart. <laughs> so in terms of practicality, I know one of the big issues with electric cars is that because they're battery operated, it can't go for large distances. Now, how many miles will a fully charged car go? Yeah. Uh, depends very much on your driving style. I mean, one of the interesting things with electric vehicles is they encourage you to drive in a much more ecological way, right. using the brakes less. You can get about 60 miles from one of our cars. In city driving, it's probably going to be somewhere between 30 and 40, but again, depends very much on your driving style. I'm going to put it in 